Thank you. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here. And I'm going to talking about the changing of political culture in Afghanistan and the rule of media and international community uh, after the fall of Taliban. Uh, if we think about cultural democracy as a soft power in exchanging of idea and information, uh, and also a bridge uh, between the state and people, then we actually, uh, the political culture changed in Afghanistan uh, enormously. And uh, uh, since the intervention of international community in Afghanistan, uh, we developed uh, constitutions. And based on that constitutions, we set up um, elections. And we had three, three elections since that. And, uh, people actually, um, there are lots of uh, media, specifically TV stations, newspapers established in Afghanistan, and uh, thousands of young people sponsored by international community, and they uh, actually went out of Afghanistan, studied in, in Western countries, in other countries, and come back home. Uh, uh, and did help uh, for the institution of Afghanistan in terms of capacity building. Uh, so it's improved lots. And the pol political culture used to be actually uh, that the power uh, in Afghanistan used to be dominated by a single political party or single, uh, a single group of people. But it changed actually when the election take place in Afghanistan and people uh, get to know actually what is the vote and, and for the first time people actually participated in, in election uh, and they decided who to be their president and uh, despite lots of difficulties and, and problems we, we were faced to but uh, it's improved lots. Um, uh, I should say that that was by the help of uh, international community as they helped and support uh, financially and military in terms of security and, and budget. Uh, when I finished my study in, in London, I, I was immigrated in London in 2012 and I lived in London and then I moved back to Afghanistan in 2012. I take responsibility as a a general manager for a TV station, and uh, then I understand how means uh, media can impact uh, the society through to uh, actually transport new information and new knowledge, uh, specifically through series and dramas and films and movies, you know, uh, and on all, all values, specifically universal values such as human rights values, women rights, women completely uh, was marginalized in, in political system, but we have at least about 30% of, of our parliament are, are sharing you know, with, with women MPs. Now they're uh, actually very active in civil societies also, also played an important role uh, in, in Afghanistan as well. Uh, in, in the uh, changing of political culture as, as well, and they had to say the, the critical thinking actually developed uh, in also in, 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 in uh, specifically in, in cities, uh, which were all civil, uh, civic, civil societies, uh, institutions were actually established in, in young generation uh, took place and they uh, had to say something, you know, and critics all, uh, government uh, uh, works and, and uh, policies as well. And slowly they, uh, uh, actually the tradition of power uh, transferred from the traditional leaders, you know, to institutions and to, uh, to young generation. That was actually, that, that is, uh, 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 the international community also uh, uh, support and help regarding the um, capacity building, and uh, which means uh, lots of um, researchers uh, come from outside, from foreign countries, actually to to work beside the government of Afghanistan to support the the election system, to uh, uh, support the institutions of Afghanistan, 
uh, for, for change, uh, actually that whole come together and change the political culture in Afghanistan, which now we can say that uh, uh, the uh, sharing of power, which was, which was very important and also that uh, create also um, social crisis in Afghanistan, that's actually, if, uh, as we, uh, as uh, most of uh, you might be knows that uh, with, with the election in 2014, then um, all international community come together with the political parties in Afghanistan. They uh, formed a national unity government due to the result of election because we didn't have any result due to the uh, allegation against uh, uh, that election and fraud. And they, they formed a national unity government which both political party actually joined the government and shared the power 50% each, and now they are working together. And uh, uh, from my point of view, uh, uh, the exchange of information and, and exchange of knowledge and also uh, the values which we uh, uh, receive through media and that broadcast and into the society that help lots people to actually get aware and, and understand about the values, specifically universal values, and also the rights of individual rights and individual freedoms. And therefore means now they are, uh, they are more active than before, and they, they have to say, and they, they, have to, they are uh, criticizing the government, even means the president, I, I should say, like the freedom uh, individual freedom and also the uh, uh, freedom of his speech, uh, it's actually uh, improved uh, through that period, you know, s the after the fall of Taliban. And uh, 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 the soft power, as uh, the culture of democracy as a soft power, I think can, can play an important role, then, then hard power, then means used to, uh, uh, how a means, uh, most political parties, they to to gain power, they have to fight each other, you know. And now they they are, they have that facilities. Mean that with the changing of political culture, they they do discuss things, you know, in TVs, in medias, and uh, then uh, they will actually uh, <laughs> get uh, something from that discussion. You know, they are they are not allowed to fight now. They have uh, a place and a sphere to to say their opinion and to express uh, what they have in their mind. And that's why, like, uh, uh, means we have, uh, that's helped and, and uh, support uh, in terms of security as well. Uh, changing uh, the, the power from traditional leaders and also um, the opportunities for people, for politicians, uh, who wants to actually express their opinion that uh, uh, made, uh, uh, actually support the, the peace process and also uh, saved uh, the, the uh, security situation. Uh, from my means, uh, uh, when I work in education ministry, one, one more thing I should say, that education can play an, an important role because uh, means uh, values are sitting in curriculum and then means the whole mindset built with, with education, you know? And uh, I propose that education system should be reformed and the education system should be depoliticized. If means the education system uh, uh, actually uh, doesn't work and depoliticized, then means uh, you can have some, of, some sorts of values which, which you can politicize it. Or my, my view, I can say the politicization of culture and culturalization of politics, that, that will bring actually uh, uh, problems uh, in, into the society. Uh, thank you very much. That was my piece.